let us look at proposition number 108 of book 10 of Euclid's Elements. The proposition says, if a medial area is subtracted from a rational area, then the side of the remaining area becomes one of two irrational straight lines, either an upper tomb or a minor straight line. Okay, so let's proceed. Let BC be a rational area and BD a medial area. So as you can see, BD is subtracted from BC. Set out a rational straight line FG. To FG, apply a parallelogram GH equal to BC. Subtract from GH a parallelogram GK equal to BD. Therefore, what will happen is the remainders will be equal. That is EC is equal to LH. GH is rational and GK is medial. And GH and GK are applied to a rational straight line FG. So since FG is rational and GH is rational, implies that FH, FH is rational and commensurable in length with FG. Since FG is rational and GK is medial, it implies that FK is rational and incommensurable in length with FG. So, FH is commensurable with FG, but FK is incommensurable with FG. That means FK is incommensurable in length with FH. So, FH and FK are rational and commensurable in square only. Therefore, FH minus FK, which is equal to KH, is an epitome. And FK is its NX. So, FH square or square on FH is greater than square on FK by the square on a straight line either commensurable or incommensurable in length with FH. So, let's take this one by one. If FH square is greater than FK square by the square on a straight line commensurable with FH and we know HF is commensurable with a rational straight line FG set out. Means KH is a first upper tomb. And we have previously seen that the side of LH, side of LH, that is LH is nothing but KH by KL. And when we say side of LH, it means the side of a square whose area is equal to LH is an upper tomb. That is, the side of a square equal to LH is an upper tomb. But EC is equal to LH. EC equal to LH. So, the side of EC is an upper tomb. Now, let's look at the other case. If FH square is greater than FK square by the square on a straight line incommensurable in length with FH and FH is commensurable with the rational straight line FG set out. That means KH is a fourth upper tomb. And we know that if KH is fourth upper tomb and LK is a rational straight line which is equal to GF or FG, then the side of LH which is KH by KL is a minor. Again remember when we say side of LH, it means the side of a square whose area is equal to LH. And since EC is equal to LH, the side of EC is a minor. So, we have shown that side of EC is either an upper tomb or a minor straight line. 
So that is proposition number 108 of book 10 of Euclid's Elements. Again, let me remind you, there is a link to a PDF book which describes all these propositions in detail. Please feel free to download it, refer to it. And if you think somebody else can also benefit from it, please do share. That's it for now. Bye.